What's up guys, you're watching a Flight Path Disc Disc Review. We are a new channel with the goal of creating the best disc review videos out there. One thing that we see all the time is pros putting out disc review videos. And the number one comment is, that's great, but that's not how I throw that disc. So to address that issue, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make two disc review videos for each disc that we review. We'll have one beginner to intermediate arm speed and one intermediate to advanced. That way, whether you started six months ago or three months ago, and you're just really getting into it, or if you've been playing for five years, you'll get a real understanding of what the disc is gonna file like. With the goal in mind of creating the best disc review videos out there, we record with a professional camera, an overhead drone, and we provide Ace Trace footage. All right, today we got a disc review for the Star Leopard 3. Um, this is what we consider to be a beginner fairway or control driver. The numbers are 75 negative 2 1. And what we're really hoping to get out of this is just a disc that you can put out there. You don't need to put it on 100% of uh, power. Goes out there, stays flat, gets a little bit of turn and finishes really straight. So especially if you're a beginner, this is a great disc to start with. When you're looking just to get something out there and get it straight, maybe get a little bit of turn or hyzer flip for your first, uh, first few times getting a hyzer flip. Yeah, this disc is awesome. Um, it gets a surprising amount of distance. It just keeps on going. Um, so if you're a beginner and you're you're trying to graduate from uh, mid-range and you're trying to find something that you can handle, this is perfect to uh, up your distance game. Yeah, I definitely agree. And I think an important thing that gets overlooked a lot is for beginners, throwing a seven speed, if you've just started in the last six months, you're most, like, more than likely getting the most distance out of something that's like a seven speed compared to a 10 or 11 speed. You might not think that and you might just force some 12 speeds over and think that's your max distance. I really think if you want to get better fast, start with a seven speed, six speed, or even a mid range and work your way up. And this is a great place to start. Yeah, 100% agree. All right, I got that one on quite a bit of hyzer there, and it flipped up to just about flat. Carried that one about 300 feet. It's a good shot. Um, I think for a lot of players, you'd want to have a little more turn on there, and then let it kind of fade back out, but that's really good right there. Hey, that's exactly what you want right there from a Leopard 3. Give it a lower arm speed. It's exactly what you're looking for, I guess, because you got about 300 feet there. That was dead straight. Threw it flatter than I usually do. So, it's exactly what you're looking for as a beginner. It was weird when I actually do it. I'm trying to, but that went about as planned. Threw that on Annie. Kept going at the lower speed disc with some turn to it. So kind of did what you'd expect it. Just turn and almost burn out, but it still got really good distance. So if you're looking for a disc that you can kind of just rip on Annie and know that it's not really gonna come out if you have a little arm speed, it can come out, but if you give it enough power, it should just keep gliding on right if you're right-handed. So it's good. What's up guys? Welcome to our beginner fairway driver series. We are super excited that you guys are here watching us today. Um, in this series and all the series to come, we'll be doing disc giveaways. In this giveaway, to enter yourself for a chance to win, all you have to do is follow us at FP Discs on Instagram, tag three friends, and comment one of the three discs below. The great thing about this disc giveaway is you have a great chance of winning. Our channel is still small, which means you can get the disc that you want. That's it for the disc review for the Innova Star Leopard 3. Um, this is part of our beginner fairway series. Um, I think we both really enjoyed this disc. It's actually not one that either of us had bagged previously. We had both thrown Leopard 3s before, but we didn't have them in our bag. And I think for me, that's gonna change. I'm gonna have one in my bag. I can really see myself using this in the woods. Um, could also see myself just using this if you have a lot of tailwind, just want to get something out there that you can kind of trust. And so again, this thing went really straight for us and I kind of have a lower arm speed, I'd say beginner to probably intermediate still though. And his is more of an intermediate to advanced. 
and we both really got this out there straight for a long time. Yeah, um, I liked it a lot. I will say, if you have a little bit higher arm speed, sometimes when you throw it, it might turn and burn and just go down into the ground. But if you're using it like it's meant to be thrown, not 100%, mm -hmm. you know, it's gonna be a great jet disc to use. Yeah, overall, I think we both really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's a wrap. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a wrap. <laughs>